हेलो एवरी वन आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट दैट इज एंगल्स सो योर यू कैन सी द क्लॉक टिकिंग नाउ इफ आई से दैट द हैंड्स ऑफ द क्लॉक मेक एन एंगल बिटवीन दैम यू विल बी सेंग दैट वॉट इज मैम सेंग एंड वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज एन एंगल एंगल इज नथिंग बट दिस This is formed with the help of two rays which meet at a common point. Here, the two rays are these two, and the common point is the center circle. Also, angle falls under a very important concept which is geometry, and this is very important for your higher grades as well. Now, let's define angle. Angle is a figure which is formed with the help of two rays which meet at a common point. Here, the two rays are the arms of the angle, and the common point is called the vertex. Now you'll be thinking, how do we exactly measure angle, and what do we measure it in? We measure it in degrees, which is also denoted by this symbol. So here we can say that twenty-seven degree, thirty-seven degrees. These are the examples. It is measured by an instrument called protractor, which looks something like this, and is a very important part of your geometry box. So now let's learn about the parts of an angle. There are two main parts of the angle: vertex and arms of the angle. Here I will show it with the help of an angle which I have drawn. Firstly, I will start by naming this angle as A. b and c now talking about the vertex the vertex of an angle of this angle is the point c that is basically the common point where the rays ac and bc meet the arms of the angle are nothing but the rays which i talked about so here the rays are ac and bc learn about the different types of angles this is a very important concept so please pay attention there are around six types of angles the first one being acute angle the second one is right angle the third one is obtuse angle the fourth one is straight angle and the fifth one is reflex angle and the last one that is sixth one is full angle so what exactly is acute angle the angle which is less than 90 degree is considered to be acute angle the second one which is right angle is exactly 90 degrees the third one which is obtuse angle is considered to be greater than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees so this means that if we have an angle called x the uh, x will lie between 90 degrees to 180 degrees the fourth one we have straight angle straight angle is nothing but exactly 180 degrees so if we draw a straight line and if i ask you which angle is present you'll say it is 180 degrees The fifth one, which is reflex angle, is greater than one eighty degrees and less than three sixty degrees. The sixth one, that is full angle, is exactly three sixty degree. So if I draw this, you'll say that the angle present in this figure is three sixty degrees. So now let's revise each and every concept again. If we talk about acute angle, it will be between zero to ninety degree. If we talk about right angles, it will be exactly ninety degrees. If we talk about obtuse angle, it will be ninety degrees to one eighty degrees. And if we talk about straight angle, it will be exactly one eighty degrees. If we talk about reflex angle, it will be between one eighty to three sixty degrees. And if we talk about full angle, it will be exactly three sixty degrees. So here we can see a pattern. Like first it is zero to ninety, then it is exactly ninety, then ninety to one eighty, then exactly one eighty, then one eighty to three sixty, then exactly three sixty, and I think this makes it so much more easier. So I hope this much was very clear to you, and you liked the video. Thank you.